So we're here with my mom in McCready's kitchen, which is kind of cool. We're gonna cook a dish that um, is my favorite dish of all time. If I had to pick one dish that made me the happiest, that I love to eat the most, it's uh, her chicken and dumplings. You can see it's an extremely complicated dish. There are lots of components. One, two, three, four. Four components. I've been trying to make it for the last 16 years the way she makes it and I can't do it. I gave up, I actually gave up. I'm not even gonna try anymore because I just can't do it. Who taught you how to make chicken dumplings? My mom, her grand. <laughs> I got some really good memories of learning to do chicken dumplings because she started with the chicken, chopping its head off. <laughs> We can get a lot of chicken. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I can probably describe it well enough. So we leave these on? No. No? No! Are you sure? Yes. There's a lot of delicious flavor in there. You want to do the honors? Sure. Well, I've always cooked with my mom. And when I was a kid, you know, I was a student. I'm still a student, but I was just fascinated with watching her cook. And how long would that take? <laughs> Till I feel it and it falls off the bottom. <laughs> You can't give me a time. <laughs> About an hour. Okay. Then I went to culinary school. I learned discipline and technique and foundation. And then she hated cooking with me. How do you know if it's done? You can tell if it's starting to fall off the bone and this is way ready. She would say, I'm never gonna cook with you again. You're no fun. You're worried about how clean the countertop is. We're supposed to be having fun. You're like, you're not even smiling. You know, what the hell's wrong with you? When I was doing chicken and dumplings, when Sean was growing up, he was always at my elbow or never far away. He'd be standing with his nose to the edge. Still of the... the same way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first time I heard her say that, I thought, wow, I thought you'd be proud of me cutting this carrot perfectly and keeping my station perfectly clean and my towel folded nice and tight over here. But cooking's not about that for her. What's your favorite part of chicken? The, the dark meat and the thigh. And yours? Neck meat. It's... What Because it's the that's the darkest. <laughs> Why is the neck meat gross? Because you've rang chicken next to it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feels turning in your hand. <laughs> See, look at that neck meat. Yum. <laughs> cooking with her now is we cook the dishes that I grew up cooking because I need to mash them. Every chance we get, we cook just good old fashioned hillbilly food and make a mess. So now, the part that has intimidated me my whole life and scared me to death and still haunts me. Sometimes I can't sleep at night because I can't do this. But thank God you can. Maybe you'll do it slow enough this time. Don't blink. <laughs> Don't blink. <laughs> okay, just basic ingredients. Flour. Tail frizing flour. Yes. Flour. Which you failed to tell me until today. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you just... I sort of eyeball it. So you're looking at the amount of liquid you have, which changes every time you cook the chicken. Exactly. And that determines how much flour how much, you add. How many dumplings are going to fit in that pot. <laughs> okay, buttermilk. One of the things that drives me nuts about my mom, but I also love about my mom, is that she never measures anything and refuses to measure anything. I've actually asked politely many, many times, and uh, it just doesn't work that way. So we're going to go with this today. See, that to me looks super wet, which is why I don't know how to make chicken and dumplings. <laughs> you see how it's, it's boiling nicely? You look for the biggest boil point in your kitchen. Oh, the biggest bubble? Yep. So you're like finding the boiling points, and that's where you're dropping the dumpling. Yes. Okay, so we have the chicken? Yes. So that's the tricky part. That's the tricky part. I'll just gently kind of move them. You just sort of want to sink them in under there. How do you know that these dumplings are done? Well, you look to see how they formed uh -huh. you can feel separate it. dumplings. That's Stiffness, fine. but you still want a little bounce to them. A little spring. Yep. Let that warm. Looks like it's ready. We're sniffers, aren't we? <laughs> now it's time to serve it. What do you got to keep in mind? You got to get down to the chicken. Uh huh. Take out. Oh Dumpling. lord. Mmm. <laughs> Some people like more gravy. What about you? I'm a gravy and dumpling. Leave the chicken. You don't even care about the chicken. <laughs> I'm with you. 
That's good. Oh, wow.